What's up, guys? Um, day 10, I'm just going to give you what, what's going on. Uh, to give you a little recap from yesterday's workout, I did wake up a little stiff and sore, so I have a little bit of a, a little worried about that, um, especially in the area that hurts. That means to me that I kind of um, got to play it by, by feel more. Um, but let you know what's going on. I'm going to hit a double kettlebell snatch, five sets of five reps. I really want to get some motion and movement back into the hip with moving it forward, pulling it back. Uh, I'm gonna deadlift, four sets of four, I'm not gonna go that crazy. Gonna hit a, a, some explosive push-ups, a power exercise push-up into a strength exercise, five sets of five on both, so I'll do five explosive push-ups, five different um, reps of a strength uh, push-up. Gonna hit some shoulder mobility since that's one of my factors I always need to work on. And uh, I'll show you guys some cool stuff that you can do with rings. Kind of like a gymnast move. Um, to remind you of when you were kind of a lot younger playing on the monkey bars. Uh, gonna hit a, a rack squat and then some, some cleans just to uh, get the blood flowing and get, get a motion back, full body movement, uh, full body breakdown there. And then I'm gonna drag sleds, just drag a sled for about eight minutes. Eight minutes straight without stopping. Um, Nothing too crazy, I'm just gonna keep moving. Don't sprint, don't do whatever, just eight minutes of, I wanna induce a lot of blood flow in my legs, get that blood circulating. Uh, but that's it, that's the rundown for day 10. Stay tuned, uh, let's see, let's have at it. So before I forget, before I get started, I wanna show you guys some, uh, some pre-warm-up stuff, some high tension exercises I do, really to, uh, to help me out with my lower back and the whole core trunk section. Really working the abdominals all the way down to the pelvic floor, or basically, to be blunt, your ball sack, basically. Um, ladies, obviously, you know what I mean. Um, basically, the first one is just a, a hard incline, and you really want to stretch, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, and be on a, on a wall. You don't need anything, just a wall. Um, go all the way up on your toes, stretch the fingertips, elongate the body, elongate the spine, and really lock down that core. You'll feel what I'm talking about. Um, second one, we're gonna go with a, with a tabletop or reverse plank, I do it right after. Um, and you really want to shoot your hips all the way to the ceiling and really try to squeeze squeeze the glutes, squeeze the butt cheeks, and you'll feel a lot of, of tension in that area. And the last one, um, it's a, a, a progression to what's called a planche or a gymnast move. Um, I'm not that efficient at it yet, but I'm doing the, uh, the planche progression into uh, L-sit. Uh, doesn't need much time, you'll feel what I'm talking about. And you're gonna sit into this, the, the plants with the knee tucked, flat back or rounded back as I'm doing it right now, into a L sit as best you can. And you're gonna progressively, you'll feel, again, you'll feel what I'm talking about, but check that out for, uh, for some warm up stuff. Well, scratch that. I took out the deadlift, started warming up, and I started getting a uh, feeling like it wasn't right. So, adapt and overcome. It's really, really not that important right now. Um, so I'm just gonna keep moving on to the rest of the stuff. That way, I don't hurt myself for uh, for later progress and uh, be an idiot again. Right. Mm -hmm. 